Okay, so the last war movie that Michael Bay had directed was Pearl Harbor. If he screws this one up, oh my god. Thirteen Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, so Thirteen Hours is a movie that's based on the true story of these American soldiers who were assigned to protect an America, I believe, diplomatic compound when I just read up after a terrorist attack in 2012. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Thirteen Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Okay guys, now I know all of you are expecting me to rip this movie a new one because it's a Michael Bay movie that's in January, so you put two and two together, normally it's going to be crap, especially because Michael Bay had directed Pearl Harbor, and we all know how bad that movie is. But I'm just going to come out flat and say it, I actually liked 13 Hours. This is probably Michael Bay's most greatest and his most serious film because unlike his other films where there's a lot of jokes and there's a lot of one-liners this is the first movie i feel like where michael bay actually tried to make a serious movie now of course yeah there are stylizations but it doesn't feel like he's beating you over the head with it on this time it actually feels like they wanted to actually tell this story of these american soldiers that were pretty much almost got killed while they were trying to protect these diplomatic people. And I have to say, I feel like the Michael Bay did truly respect the soldiers of this thing. I feel like he portrayed the soldiers very well. There are two soldiers in particular, John Silver portrayed by John Krasinski, who was probably my favorite performance. And there was another guy, I cannot remember his name, but he was also great. I'll put his name right here, but these two, but John Krasinski and this guy, I felt like were the best performances in the entire, in the entire film. And I also really did believe the commercial I think that's how you pronounce it, between the soldiers. I actually felt like that they were a team. And unlike a lot of Michael Bay films, I feel like this actually had some real tension in this movie. Like, there were scenes, I'm not gonna lie, my heart was actually kind of pounding. The action scenes were well filmed, especially the final half an hour. Like, the final half an hour had some really, really well done action, really, really well paced. I'm not gonna lie, like, there was actually at a point where I actually felt like I actually felt the true weight of the situation, particularly in the final half an hour, like, I haven't felt this way about a Michael Bay movie, like, ever. Yeah, of course, yeah, there are some problems with this movie. Like any other Michael Bay film, it's too long. It's over two hours and 20 minutes. I feel like it could have been at least two hours or at least an hour and 50. A lot of stuff just feels like unnecessary filler. Now, my biggest criticism with this movie was the fact that I didn't feel connection with all the soldiers, only to John Krasinski's character and this guy. I'm sorry, I'm doing a huge disservice by forgetting this guy's name. There was this one car chase where I feel like the editing was so sloppy, I could not tell what the heck was going on. 13 hours. Now, it is not the best war film, but it is actually Michael Bay's best film since Bad Boys. Some good character, some good action, some good tension, despite the problems that it usually has with a Michael Bay film, but overall, I liked it. So overall, I'm giving 13 hours a three and a half out of five. I genuinely did like this movie. It was his, it's definitely Bay's most, uh, I guess his his most serious film to date. I can't believe I just said that. All right, guys. So comment out and let me know below, guys. What did you guys think of Thirteen Hours? Have you seen it yet? Are you guys surprised that Michael Bay has actually done something? good let alone decent in his filmography let me know below and if you liked what you saw please like share and subscribe to see more content from me and as always guys until the next review i'll see you guys next time